a lot of the opening gambits about Edinburgh is Edinburgh's great, great city, great place to live, great schools, and then fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth on the list is the rugby team. And when, when people talk about Edinburgh, is that you know somewhere in the top two is you know they've got a rugby club, and if you've seen the castle, it'd be nice. Um, and we'll work on that. And look, I'm just honest. Like I don't care about the castle. You know, I can go and see it, and I, it's not the only castle in the world. I mean, it's a lovely city. I enjoy it. You know. My kids go to a great school and we enjoy the lifestyle, but I didn't come here for, to enjoy the vibe um, at the festival. I came here to coach a rugby team and make it better. It's not a short-term fix. We've changed a few things, you know, we, we work very hard. I won't tolerate people that don't want to be as good as they can be. You know, we turn up on time, we, we wear the right kit, we work really hard, we have good people. We're, we're all trying to do the best for the team uh, and we're all trying to be as good as we can be. You pick stuff up all the time and then you don't copy, I think you just sort of uh, merge that into a style that, that suits you. When I arrived at Leicester and Dean Richards being captain and, you know, so this is how we behave at Leicester, this is what we do. Um, we always win um, and we don't lose and you've got to hate losing and you've got to hate Northampton um, and all those types of things. And I left school at 16 um, and, uh, you know, 30 years later, it was the first time I'd have been sacked and never been out of a job. So the emotion of, of being um, told that the club that you've been at pretty much your whole life don't want you anymore, I mean, and that's professional sport, and you have to uh, take it and soak it in and, and then go, right, what am I going to do next? Europe's gone exceptionally well for us, and I, I want to try and win. The reality is that we, we, we probably aren't going to win the competition, but I said that we weren't going to qualify out the group, so. Um, we've just got to go and, and uh, live the dream and we're going to enjoy the ride and we're going to get better for the experience and hopefully that'll, that'll make us stronger for the next year or two coming, you know, in, in, in the future. We're going to be better for it. We're going to Murrayfield in the quarterfinal and we're playing to win and I'm not sure it would surprise anybody if, if we stung a surprise and we, and we, and we turned Munster over because we, we're a good enough side to do that. Munster should win because they're the team with the pedigree but um, as we've proved we're going to be a tough nut to crack and for us to to, to win Europe would be um, yeah, unthinkable at this point. Um, but it's sport, anything can happen. And I tell you, the one thing we won't do is um, accept that a quarterfinal's at the end of our journey because we've worked really hard to get to this position. So why not take the opportunity that's going to be in front of us? Why not take that with both hands and, and, um, and, and try and take it to the next level? There's some fantastic young players in our squad that are coming through, the Scottish boys, and um, you know, in, in a Lions tour. In, in a couple of years' time, why can't there be two, three or four guys from the Edinburgh squad in a Lions squad by right? Because they're, they're really good players and, and they deserve to be there. And, and that's what I want. I want the environment that encourages the players to enjoy it. They feel they're getting better. They're proud to be a Scotsman and playing for this team. And, and I'm going to keep fighting the course. Um, and now I even say, when I, when I talk about Scotland, I say we. So it's catching.